This is the high power vortex cannon as described on Instructables. I'm going to start the camera and then I'm going to pass over to the cannon and fire it for you. You won't be able to see any of the vortexes without smoke being added, but you'll certainly be able to hear it. Hang on. Those were pretty mild detonations. I'm now going to stop the camera and move it more towards the muzzle area. Here we are repositioned and we'll fire off a couple of uh, shots this, from this angle. That was sort of medium power. This represents a gas charge of about three seconds. I'm now going to shut down for a moment and plug in the fog machine. Here you can see the fog machine plugged in and warming up. The uh, small black box on the left is the uh, push button control. When the unit gets hot enough, you can flip that on and it starts a fan which will blow the vapor into uh, the barrel of the vortex can. All right, the uh, fog machine is smoking now, fogging now, so I will try to fill it up and then fire it as quickly as I can. Not bad. I think I'll move the camera so it's facing downrange and you can see the rings better. So now I'm going to shoot some uh, video of downrange and see if I can catch smoke rings on camera. So stand by. That was a good one. I hope those came out.
Now for my last bit I'm going to demonstrate the uh, how the Taurus can knock over a target, in this case some uh, empty styrofoam cups, from a distance of about 20 feet. That's one shot. There's two shots. That one was a little low. <laughs> so I'll do one last pan over the uh, Vortex Cannon and point out the features. This is the uh, hose through which the gas is sprayed into the breech. This is the brass hose barb. These are your reducer couplings and your 4 inch PVC uh, combustion chamber, which is warm to the touch after firing. These are the metal straps that are used to attach it to the stock. This is the stock itself. Here is the barrel. There's the other strap. If you look down the muzzle, you might be able to see the, some light at the other end from the hose. Another view of the stock. Pan down this side, and there's the ignition module with the push button. You'll be able to hear the uh, sparker when I do this. In fact, you might be able to see the spark itself. Thanks for watching.